Hello, sir. Today, uh, uh, Ronak Batu and I, Abhyan Kalwal, will be talking about the manufacturing process of tires. Tires are one of the most essential things uh, to humankind as they are the means of uh, transportation for us, private and public. So, yeah. Introduction. A tire is a ring-shaped component that surrounds a wheel's rim, transfer vehicle's load from the axle to the wheel to the ground, and to provide traction on the surface where it meets the wheel track. It consists of a tread and a body. The tread provides traction while the body provides containment for the quantity of compressed air. Before rubber was developed, the first version of the tire was simply bands of metal fitted around the wooden wheel to prevent wear and tear. Early rubber tires were solid, not pneumatic. So the types of tires are uh, completely upon what the requirement of the user is. So the types of tires are radial tires, tubeless tires, all-terrain tires, performance tires, SUV tires. Uh, conventionally, before uh, we all had uh, tube with, uh, tires with tubes, but now they are mostly tubeless. And all-terrain tires, performance tires, and SUV tires require a lot more traction for their uh, activity. And uh, normal tires are essentially used or created in such a manner to give high mileage to the user. These are the raw materials required to make a traditional tire. Some of the raw materials are natural rubber or polyestropene is the basic elastomer used in tire making. Carbon black, also known as soot, forms a high percentage of the rubber compound. It is a material produced by the incomplete combustion of heavy petroleum product. This gives reinforcement and abrasion abs resistance. Sulfur cross-links the rubber molecules in the vulcanization process. Uh, textile fabrics uh, reinforces the ca carcass of the tire. Silica used together with uh, carbon black in high performance tires has a low heat buildup of res uh, reinforcement. Tire manufacturing process. The different processes required for tire, tire manufacturing are mixing, milling, extrude, extruding and calibering, Component assembly, vulcanization or curing, finishing and inspection. So, mixing is the process where the natural rubber and synthetic rubber is blended with some specific chemicals to get the rubber in the used form. Specific amount of carbon is added at the initiation of this process. Steel belted radial tires incorporate as many as 10 different ingredients to the rubber compound. These compounds include antioxidants. Anti zonins, curing agents, elastomers, sulfur reinforcing agents, cobalt, magnesium oxide, rubber polymers, calcium carbonate, zinc oxide, carbon magnesium oxide, rubber polymers, calcium carbonate, zinc oxide, carbon black, and processing materials. The compounds are prepared by technically mixing the Banbury mixer to mechanically break down the rubber in an attempt to obtain a uniform homogeneous mass, which is subsequently formed into slabs for of rubber that are extruded or calendared for use in tire building. Now let us watch a video on mixing. Rubber compound mixing. The first stage of tire production is rubber compound mixing. At the rubber mill, the rubber is mixed with various materials. These include fillers, clay, and carbon black. At the last stage of mixing, sulfur and curing agents are added. The resulting compounds have various properties. Some are used for the inner liner, which holds air inside the tire, and others are wear resistant and are used to make the tread. In the laboratory, the density of cured samples and other physical and mechanical properties are measured. The resulting blend is formed into rubber sheets and cooled. Each batch is weighed and identified. After additional testing, the rubber compounds are used in further processing. Now, uh, the second process would be milling. In this process, the shaping of rubber takes place as the rubber sheet comes out from the Banbury mixer, which is not that perfect. So the process takes place more than two or three times for the same rubber lot, just to ensure the regularity of the rubber sheet. Extruding slash calendaring. Extruding process is a very important process as it 
تنوع سے تھک اینڈ ہیوی رائبریشن سے تھک اینڈ تھن رائبریشن میں نے ایسا ٹائر کانفرنس ہیو میڈ بائی دس پروسیس ہم نے شاید بنا لائن میں کر سکتے ہیں دس پروسیس از ڈن بائی سیورل ڈفرنٹ مشین سچ ایز ٹرائفلیکس ایکسٹروڈر ڈبلکس ایکسٹروڈر ایکسٹرا تو ان ایکسٹروڈرز ار بوتھ ہاٹ اینڈ کولڈ فیڈ سسٹم ٹیپیکلی ایکسٹروڈرز ار بیرل شیپڈ دی میٹیریل از فیڈ انٹو دی بیرل اینڈ مکسڈ کمپوننٹ از پش فارورڈ بائی اسکرو میکانزم اینڈ دیز کمپوننٹس اف دی ٹائرز ار فارمڈ بائی ایکسٹروژن اف ان کیورڈ رابر انکلوڈنگ تھریڈ اینڈ سائڈ وال کمپوننٹس وی شال واچ اے ویڈیو اف دس آلسو ٹریڈنگ اینڈ کیلنڈرنگ اف ٹائر کمپوننٹس The mixing rubber compound is used for calendaring the inner liner and extruding the tread and sidewall. First, the rubber compound is heated. Then the compound is put through extruder machines, where the tread and sidewalls are formed into required shapes. The extruders produce a continuous sheet of tread rubber. The sheet is then cooled and cut to specific tire lengths. The inner liner is produced by calendaring. This process produces a steel belt which is required in the radial car tire. In the calendaring process, fabric cords and steel cords are coated with rubber stock. The rubber should be pressed between the individual twisted cord filaments which make, it, which make up the steel body. The body plies, plies, and reinf- plies and reinforcing strips incorporate polyester cord that is coated with rubber safety belt. Now we will watch a video on calendaring. Calendaring Calendaring is the process of making the thin film or sheet by rolling the plastics between the hot multiple rollers. A typical calendaring machine has driving unit, resin, hot rollers. In calendaring, the plastic compounded twist to a thin sheet of uniform thickness by multiple hot rollers thin plastic sheet so now we will be talking about uh, the components assembly so in this stage all the tire components are assembled together to make a green tire with the help of an assembling machine It is important to note that most tire companies now operate on 12 hour shift with tire builder bonuses based on the number of tires they produce over a set minute. Most steel belted radial tires are assembled by hand. The first stage builder constructs the tire on a cylinder rotating drum. In the first stage, the tire building process, the inner liner body plies, drums, bead reinforcing strips and side walls are assembled by the first stage tire builder. During the second stage tire building, the steel belts and threads are applied as well as wedged or belt edge drum strips. If a cap ply is utilized, it would be placed on during second stage as well. The tire components known as green tire components are held together mechanically by the tack or stickiness. stickiness. Prior to assembly, the body plies and steel thread components are stored in large rolls. Now we will watch a video on Tire building. At this stage, all the tire components are assembled. The tire is made from components on a tire building drum. Tire building begins with the sidewall and rim strip. This is the bead lining, inner liner, and two carcass plies. Bead cores are placed on the building drum. Then the ply edges are wrapped around the bead core and the side walls are moved into position while the tire is reshaped. After inflation, the belts and tread rubber are applied. For large tires, the tread rubber is wound onto belt plies. This process achieves a green tire that already resembles the final product. This is the process where the green tire is cured in a dome dome shaped machine having mold in its inside part at 
both upper and lower end. The tire mounted on a bladder which is inside the dome and then the both ends are closed and tire is cured in the presence of dome steam, high pressure steam, hot water and cold water. This curing process is also called vulcanization. Subsequent to second stage, the heat tire is transferred for vulcanization. Tire is coated with a liquid to ensure that it will not stick to the mold. In the mold, the green tire is placed over an inflatable rubber bladder. Typically, the vulcanizing machine is a two-piece machine with a two-piece metal mold. The bladder forces the tire against the mold, forming the sidewall patterns of tread traction. The molding is accomplished through the use of steam pressure or hot water inside the bladder. The rubber components of the tire are vulcanized by steam generated from the mold and bladder at pressure as high as 400 psi and temperatures approximately 200 degree for approximately 10 minutes. The heat results in chemical and physical changes in the rubber bladder. At a molecular, a molecular level, profound chemical changes occur during vulcanization. Now we will watch a video on curing or vulcanization. Curing of the green tire. After tire building, green tires are cured in a process called vulcanization, in which the tire achieves its final shape and characteristics. This is a tire mold. Prior to curing, the green tire is covered with a solution that helps the green tire fill the mold. The green tire is placed in the curing press. The curing medium pushes the green tire into the mold. The rubber compound is heated and becomes plastic. It fills the mold. The vent system lets the excess air escape the mold so that the rubber fills the mold completely. The applied heat also initiates a process called vulcanization. This is the basic element of natural rubber molecule, the polymer. During vulcanization, these polymers are linked by sulfur. This changes the molecular structure into a three-dimensional pattern of interlinked polymers. The vulcanization of a passenger car tire takes only a few minutes. For an agricultural tire, this process can take up to two hours. This is a final product, a cured tire. So now the product is almost done. All we need to see is the how the product has been finished. So finishing is to be done as some irregularities are generated on and around the tire after the curing process. It is done manually by some skilled worker. Inspection is the last stage of process of tire and manufacturing which is very important regarding tire's quality. It includes three types of inspection. Manual inspection, weight balancing and x-ray inspection. <coughs> All tires are supposed to be visually inspected and placed on a tire uniformity machine before they are sent to the warehouse. Unfortunately, the visual inspection process sometimes lasts as little as 15 seconds and on occasion of non-existence. When an abnormality is discovered, a tire is sent to classifiers who can route the tire to repair, scrap the tire, or set the tire aside for further inspection. Repairs include buffing and grinding. Now we will watch a video on finishing and inspection. Finishing and final inspection. Before the tire is dispatched from the plant, it is trimmed to order and inspected. Each tire is visually inspected for surface defects. Testing machines measure the compliance of central and lateral runout with the norms. All tires undergo a uniformity test. Tires containing steel cords are inspected by x-ray for internal defects. The final inspection is the last stage of the tire production. The tire is then stored and ready to be dispatched to customers. Manufacturers such as MRF, Apollo, uh, Seat, Goodyear, and many others also in this game. But at the same time, the most, uh, the major sales segment would be uh, for trucks and buses, passenger cars, jeeps, LCVs. But most of the tires are used for other vehicles. So when we talk about tires, what we expect out of them, it would be fuel efficiency, wet grip external rolling noise so when we say fuel efficiency it means measuring the tires rolling resistance which has an impact on your vehicle's fuel efficiency measures how well the tire brakes on wet roads measures the external noise generated by the tire 
threatened by handling immigration, coronary grip, durability, fuel consumption, internal noise, aqua planning, and high speed stability. And high speed stability is very important as people, as you know, in India always go above the speed limit. And no matter how much we try, the roads are always not that great. And because of this, the the quality of our tires are very important. End of use. So once tires have been completely used or completely worn out and are not fit to use anymore, they are discarded. They are considered scrap tires. Scrap tires are often reused for things from bumper car barriers to weights to hold down traps. Environmental issues, retreading and recycling. So when we uh, look at tires and when we expect them to have defects because they are produced in mass, we expect or we can expect to have a few tread separations, bead failures, side wall failures, continuous punctures on the same spot, manufacturing defects. Belt and tread separation during mounting process, the tire may be damaged. And due to this, this could result in an accident caused in the future. To counter this, inspections are done, but no matter how good they are, a few uh, defects just might pass through the eyes of the inspector. Conclusion. So we have learned many ways of like, how to prepare a tire or mass production of tires effectively, efficiently. Some specific rules are necessary before doing the production. Uh, skill labor is required to handle the machines as all the machines are very important to the process and because this is a mass manufactured product, all these are running on a very tight and automated uh, system. So when something goes wrong, we need people who are skilled to come in and just repair everything when and how, how fast they do it is very important. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for giving us this opportunity for uh, l letting us learn a new topic in our day-to-day -day life.